Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to do proper mirror checks in a car. In this video driving lesson, I'll be going over the basics of conducting proper mirror checks for your side mirrors and also for your rear view mirror. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First and foremost, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of your side mirror positioning. If you take a look at my side mirror right here, you can see that I see the body of the car for about a third of the mirror, and then the rest of the mirror shows the road beside me and the area behind my car. The same thing goes with this mirror over here. As you can see, the car body takes up about a third of the mirror and the rest of the mirror is devoted to the area behind my car. Now you'll also notice with the side mirrors that they are pointed sort of so that I can see the road and also the horizon behind me. Now there's actually a house and a fence behind me but if I was on the road um, you know I'd be able to see both the road beside me and also the area behind me. You don't want to position your mirrors too high up where you're only seeing the sky or too low down where you're only seeing the road. You want them to be somewhere in between where you sort of get the best of both worlds right there. All right, now obviously I'm doing this in an empty parking lot because I wouldn't want to be filming this as I'm driving. Now with regards to the rear view mirror, as you can see right here, uh, it's probably difficult to tell, it probably looks quite dim, but as you can see, I can see basically throughout the entire rear windshield um, of the car. So the rear view mirror, just you basically want it to show you out of the rear windshield of the car. Very simple. Now, if you want to conduct a proper mirror check, this is what you're going to do. Let's say you're driving, right? First and foremost, you should be checking all three of your mirrors regularly. For some people, this might be every 30 seconds. For other people, this might be every minute or every 15 seconds. It all depends on you, where you live, and what you've been taught. But generally speaking, with the frequency that you want, you're going to check your three mirrors really quickly, just like this. Rear view mirror, left side mirror, right side mirror. Very simple. Once again, rear view mirror, left side mirror, right side mirror and it's just a very quick check and I would actually check it even faster in a real life situation but I don't want the camera to just be you know flying around like that that's what you're gonna do on a frequent basis now with regards to checking your mirrors properly while you're driving what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are looking at the mirror while at the same time looking at the road through your peripheral vision so let's say I was gonna switch lanes to the left okay I would check my rear view mirror and I'm still looking at the road. As you can see in the camera, if you look at the mirror, you can still glance at the road in front of you. Then I would check my left side mirror. Once again, I'm looking at the left side mirror, but I can still see the road in front of me. Then obviously I'm gonna check my left blind spot. Now the process for checking your mirror should only take about one to two seconds. So in a real life situation like this, if I was switching lanes to the left, I would do this, that, and then I would be done the mirrors. I would check my left blind spot and that's it. If I was doing a lane change to the right, I would check my rear view mirror, my right side mirror, and then obviously my right blind spot. Once again, in a real life situation, a proper mirror check would be bam, bam, and you're done the mirrors. Then obviously you check your blind spot. So for the proper mirror check, the most important things are uh, two simple things. Number one, the positioning of your mirror. Because if your mirror is positioned, you know, too high up, where all you're seeing is, is the sky behind you, that's almost useless. If it's positioned too low down, then, you know, it's almost useless as well. It needs to be right in that nice sweet spot where you see about a third of the mirrors devoted to your car, two thirds is devoted to the road and sky area behind you, and you can see both the road and the horizon. If I was on the road, I'd be able to see the horizon. For the rear view mirror, you want to be able to look out of the rear windshield. So then positioning is the first most important thing. Because if your mirrors are not positioned properly, you can check them as well as you want, but you're not going to be able to see what you need to see. The second thing is checking your mirrors frequently and also before you do things like switch lanes, before you reverse, and obviously when you're reversing, you're looking around as well. You know, before you, you need to use them, you know how to check them and how long to look at them. Because if you're driving down the street 
and you're staring at your rear view mirror for seven seconds or something like that, it's taking your focus away from the road. And even though you're doing a good job of looking in the mirror, it's not a proper mirror check. A proper mirror check should be done at the right frequency, at the right moments, and for the right duration. Those are the most important factors. And that's basically it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video of the process for doing a proper mirror check while driving a vehicle. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. What are some other things that you should keep in mind when doing a proper mirror check? Let me know down below as a comment. I would love to read your thoughts and opinions on this matter. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.